Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics 9 and today we are going to discuss about quadratic equations in your module 1 first quarter. Quadratic equations. So now, a quadratic equation is one variable is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero where a, b, and c are real numbers and a must not be equal to zero. So look at the following examples of quadratic equation in one variable. So these are the examples of quadratic equation. Bakit po natin nasabing quadratic equation ang isang equation? So, titignan po natin ay yung kanyang degree. So, if the degree of one quad one equation is uh, the leading the leading uh, degree is 2. Okay, matatawag natin siyang quadratic equation. Alright, so now let's move on. So the given examples are written and written is descending powers of the variable. And the right side of each equation is zero. So such quadratic equations are said to be the standard equation. So kapag ganito po yung uh, nakita yung form na isang quadratic equation, siya ay nasa standard form or standard equation. Kapag yung kabilang parte, usually at the right side ay zero. So, it is in the standard form. So, now let's have uh, solves the quadratic equation by extracting square root. Okay, the first is extracting the square root. So, to solve the quadratic equation of the form ax squared equals c, where a must not be equal to 0. Bakit natin sinasabi na laging a must not be equal to 0? Kasi po, kapag, halimbawa, um, uh, 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 equals 0, Kapag yung a natin ay 0, so magiging 0 to makakancel na. 2x plus 3 na lang yung natitira equals 0. Ibig sabihin, hindi na to quadratic. Magiging linear na to. So, yun. Um, now, let's move on. So, use the property of equality to reduce the equation in the form x squared equals c over a x squared equals c over a po ito. So, and to find the square roots of both sides of the equation. So, here is the examples. Here are the examples. The following quadratic equation can be solved by extracting square root. So, for example, x squared minus 121 equals 0. So, kung mapapansin natin, Yung first and last term are perfect square. That is why we will use extracting the square roots. Kasi ginagamit natin ito usually sa mga perfect squares. Okay? So, we have by using addition property of equality. Okay? Bakit nagkaganito? So, yung x squared minus 121 equals 0. We're going to get the opposite um, opposite uh, value of this. And then magiging x squared minus and then add it to the both side of the equation. Plus 121 equals positive 121. Then it will become x squared my um so makakansin na to equals 121 so ito yun or by just simply transpo transposing this negative 21 to the right side so it will become positive 121 
So, yan. Then, we're going to extract this, uh, extract this, um, terms. So, only that is square root ng x squared, x square root ng 121, positive, negative 11. So, bakit naging positive, negative 11? So, don't forget this one. Any number na in, nanggaling sa radical sign, yan po ay may value na positive, negative. Okay? So, now, one, square root of 121 is 11. So, let's have another example. 3x squared minus 27 equals 0. So, tinranspose lang natin ito sa kabilang side. So, yung negative 27 naging positive 27. By using addition property of equality. And then, we are going to get the uh, square root of each term. But before that, let us cancel or kailangan yung numerical coefficient nitong uh, x squared i 1 so 3x squared okay, wait, 3x squared equals 27 tanggalin muna natin yung 3 so para matanggal yung 3 divide natin siya both side by 3. So, magiging x squared 27 divided by 3 is 9. Kaya po naging x squared equals 9. Ito naman po ay multiplication property of equality. So, here we can get x is equals to positive negative 3. Paano nakuha? In square root po yung both side. So, square root ng x squared is x, square root ng 9 ay positive negative 3. So, now, we will get this one. Okay. Oh, may napasama. <laughs> so, now, let's have another example. 5x squared minus 125 equals 0. So, Transposing it to the other side, it will become positive 125. Then, uh, tinanggal natin yung 5, ginawa natin 1, yung leading coefficient na kasama na x squared. So, 5 x squared equals 125. Divide natin both side by 5 para mawala yung 5 sa katabi ni x squared. 125 divided by 5 is 25. Kaya po naging x squared equals 25. So, by extracting the square roots of the both side of the equation, we will get x is equals to positive negative 5. 5. So, now let's move on to factoring. Okay. A quadratic equation can be solved can be solved by factoring if the equation can be reduced into the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero where ax squared plus bx plus c is a factorable. So gagamitin lang po natin ang factoring kapag yung equation natin ay factorable. Okay? The zero product property states that if the indicated product of two or more factors is zero, at least one fact one of the factors is equals to zero. That is for the for all real numbers a and b, a b is equals to zero if and only if a equals to zero or b equals to zero. So, for example, the following quadratic equation can be solved by factoring. So, for example, x squared minus 6x equals negative 8. So, make sure one side of the equation is 0 before applying 
the zero product property. So, kailangan na sa standard form siya. So, i-transpose natin si negative 8 sa kabilang side, magiging positive 8. Hmm. Yan, transform into standard form. So, now, we will have factoring. So, um, ang factoring kasi more on trial and error. Okay? So, let's have, let's factor x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. So, paano nakuha ito? So, maggawa tayo ng dalawang open and close parentheses. Okay? We're going to get the factor of the first term, which is x squared. So, ang factor ng x squared ay x and x. x times x is x. So, ilalagay natin siya sa first term noong ating una at pangalawang open and close parentheses. Then, we're going to get the factor of the last term, which is 8. The factors of 8 is 4 times 2, um, 8 times 1, what else? Ayan na, yun muna. So, kuno natin, uh, paano natin malalaman kung alin ba yung dapat gamitin? So, titignan natin yung middle term, which is, ang middle term natin ay negative 6. So, titingin tayo sa factor ng number, ng last term. If we add it, if we add the two numbers, we will have negative 6. Or if we subtract or add the two numbers, we will get negative 6. So, pag in natin yung 4 at 2, ang sagot ay 6, pwede. So, itong 4 at 2 agad ang gagamitin. Pero, ano bang sign? Anong sign ang gagamitin natin? So, dapat negative 6 yung magiging result. So, we should uh, um, uh, think of uh, two numbers that the uh, answer will be negative 6. Since, uh, nalaman natin na yung 4 and 2 pwede, uh, pag inad, 6 ang sagot, kailangan natin malaman kung anong sign niya. So, ginawa natin negative, paras negative. Kasi negative 4 minus 2 is equals to negative 6. Ayan. Nakuha na natin yung negative 4 and negative 2. Oh, delete. Let me write again the x. Ayan. Negative 4, negative 2. Ayan. Factor na siya nito. Ito na yun. So, Let's apply the zero product property. So, yan. Ang gagawa tayo ng dalawang hati. Okay. X minus 4 equals 0. X minus 2 equals 0. Um, I-equate natin yung dalawang. Itong dalawang na sa loob ng parenthesis sa 0. So, Ta-transpose natin yung negative 4, magiging positive 4. So, x is equals to negative, positive 4. Ito yung una nating root. O yung una nating uh, sagot. Okay. Uh, then, tra uh, transpose negative 2, it will become positive 2. So, ito yung kalawa nating root or pangalawang sagot. So, to check whether this 2 equals uh, roots are correct, we will have this one. So, let us first have uh, checking if positive 4 is the root of this equation. So, yan. It, uh, isa substitute lang natin yung 4 sa lahat ng x dito. So, it ay x squared minus 6x equals negative 8. Trans, ano lang, substitute the value of x which is 4. 4 squared minus 6 times 4 minus negative 8. 4, ayan, naulit. <laughs> so, 4 squared is 8. Oh, and shortcut. 
16. For squared is 16 minus 6 times 4 is 24. <laughs> Just to check. Then, 16 minus 24 is negative 8 and equal to negative 8. So, this means that positive 4 is correct or the real solution of this um, equation. Let us now check whether positive 2 is real solution of this equation. So, we are going to substitute the value of x, which is 2. 2 squared minus 6 times 2 equals negative 8. So, we can get 2 squared is 4. 6 times 2 is 12 equals negative 8. 4 minus 12 is negative 8 equals negative 8. It means um, positive 2 is also the equation or true equation of this um, uh, equation. So now, let us move on and let's have the next example. What if a naka factor na yung given? Okay, here's the solution. Okay, we're just going to have a FOIL method. Okay, pwede natin. FOIL method. FOIL method means first, outer, inner, and last. So, x plus 2 squared. So, yan. Uh, foil first. Okay. I-spread po muna natin para malaman natin kung ano ba itong foil na ito. Okay. Let's have the first. First, x times x is equals to x squared. Then, um, outer, which are x times 2, positive 2x. Then, inner, uh, 2 times x, or positive 2 times positive x is equals to positive 2x. And then, the last, last term, 2 times 2 equals 4. Then combine the similar term, we will get x squared 2x plus 2x is equals to 4x plus 4. So, ito na po. Ito. Okay. Then, equals to 9. That is what we called square the binomial. Now, let us have this one. So, kailangan ng a standard form. So, we're going to transpose positive 9 sa kabilang side para maging 0 itong side na to. Then, 4 minus 9 equals negative 5. So, now, let us factor it. Okay, now... Uh, mag ka, oh, okay, open and close parenthesis muna. Okay, the factor of x is x and x. Factor of negative 5. Yan. Factor of negative 5 is equals to negative 5. Ay, huwag mo natin lagi na sign. Yan. 5 and 1. Tingnan natin yung sign ng middle term. Kailangan ng sign ay positive. So, ilalagay natin yung positive sa pinakamalaking number which is 5 then negative dun sa kabilang side. Kapag ang equation ay may negative, yun po ang gagawin. So, we get O. Oh, x plus, ito na yan, x plus 5 times x minus 5, oh, minus 1. So, that is what we called factor the left side. Okay, now, we are going to have our zero product property. So, x plus 5 equals 0, transpose lang yung positive 5, magiging negative 5. 
x minus 1 equals 0, transpose positive negative 1, it will become positive 1. Okay, now since we already get the solutions, let's check if the answer is correct. So at negative 5. So we're just going to substitute the value of x in the uh, original equation. So the value of x here is negative 5. So negative 5, or dito x, ito yung original na. x, so negative 5 plus 2 squared equals 9. So negative 5 plus 2 is equals to negative 3 squared is equals to 9. Negative, negative 3 squared is 9. So it means negative 5 is one of the true, true solution of this equation. Let's check whether positive 1 is true. Okay, let's substitute the value of x, which is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3 squared equals 9. 3 squared is 9. So, this uh, it means the uh, positive 1 is also the solution of this equation. Now, let's talk about completing the square. So, among uh, these four na discuss ko ngayon, this is one of the most complicated ones. So, please do listen carefully. So, to solve quadratic equation for a squared plus bx equals c by completing the square, we're going to transform the equation into the form x squared plus b over ax equals negative c over a. And we're going to add, uh, add to each side of the equation the square of half of the coefficient of x. And we're going to write the left side as the square root of each side of the equation of half the the coefficient of x then we're going to write the side yes solve the result resulting linear equation and then we're going to check the solution against the original equation for you to fully understand it let us have an example so what are the solutions of the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 7x equals 6 Yes, okay na. <laughs> Ito yung ating original um, equation. So, paano naging ganito agad yan? So, dapat um, um, numerical coefficient na katabi ni x squared ay 1. A should be equal to 1. Kaya naman, yung 3x squared minus 7x equals 6 ay mababago sa pamamagitan ng pagdi-divide both side ng leading numerical coefficient which is 3. So, we're going to divide uh, both side by 3 to cancel it out and it will become x squared then, negative uh, 7 over 3x. Okay, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, yan. Ito na yun. Okay, gets? That is what we called. Yes. We're going to divide both sides by 3 so that the coefficient is x squared. A should be equal to 1. Now, let's have this. What will we do? We're going to add 49 over 36 to the both side to complete the square. Paano naman ito? Saan ito galing? So, ganito po yan. Yung x squared minus 7 over 3x. Para makomplete yung square, kailangan nating mag-add both side ng isang number lang. Okay? 
equals to plus blank. So, ano yung number na ilalagay natin? First step para makuha yung number na ilalagay doon is to look at the middle middle term. Okay, wag natin isama yung ano, sign niya. Ayan. So, let's look at the middle term which is 7 over 3. 7 over 3 First step is to divide it by 2. Okay, nasa step po ito na pinaliwanag ko kanina. So, ito po, laging i-divide talaga siya by 2. Hindi na yung mababago, divide by 2. So, sa division of fac uh, fraction, we're going, uh, we can use cross multiplication. So, may 1 dito sa baba ni 2. 7 times 1 is 7. 2 times 3 is 6. Then, after we get that, we're going to uh, get the squared. Okay, squared natin ito. 7 squared is 49. 6 squared is 36. So, ito na po yan. Yan. 49 over 36. So, ito na. Iyan na natin both side. 49 over 36. 49 over 36. Okay. So, that one, this whole equation is this one. Okay. So, let's have, let's continue. Then, after that, we're going to write the left side as the square of binomial. So, kung natatandaan niyo po kung paano mag-square of binomial, uh, it is easy for you to do this. Okay, para naman sa mga nakalimot na. So, ito po kung paano nangyari ito. Yan. Diba x squared minus 7 over 3 x plus 49 over 36 equals... Uh, 2 plus 49 over 36. Okay, squared natin siya. Gawa tayo ng open and close parenthesis. Squared natin yung um, uh, x squared. Square root of x squared is x. Hindi pala natin siya i-squared. Kukunin natin yung square root niya. Then, copy the sign of the middle term, which is negative. Square root of 49 is 7. Square root of 36 is 6. Pa kung mapapansin nyo dun sa last uh, term, dito sa part na to, uh, yun namang last term yung ating kinuha ng square root. Okay? So, now, let's continue to solve this one. Yan. So, plus... Yung 2 plus 49 over 36, kaya naging 72 over 36 plus 49 over 36. Kinuha natin yung LCD ng 1 at 36, which is 36. Okay? So, 36 divided by 1 is 36 times 2, 72. Plus, 36 divided by 36 equals 1 times 49 equals 49. Okay? So, ito na yun. And, spread lang nila. So, let's continue. Yay! We're, we just um, add this for 72 plus 49, kaya naging 121. Now, let's distract the square root of the both of both sides. So, yung kauna-unahan, extracting the square root. So, magagamit natin yun dito sa uh, part na to. So, we're just going to get the square root of each term. So, square root, makakansel lang po ito. So, square root ng 121 is 11. Square root of 36 is 6. Okay, let's continue. 
Yan. Yan. Ito na yung sagot. X minus 7 over 6 is equals to 11 over 6. Then, transpose natin tong negative 6 sa kabilang side. Magiging positive 7 over 6. Then, um, add na, since parehas yung denominator niya, hindi na natin kailang kunin ang LCD, i-add na lang natin si 11 plus 7, which is 18. Then, simplify, 18 over 6 is 3. So, ito yung first equation. Kung baga, ito yung x sub 1. Okay, kasi, kaya x sub 1 siya, kasi uh, any number na nanggaling sa radical sign, sign uh, meron siyang positive negative ni yes, na answer. So, let us get so, kasi ang nakukuha pa lang natin dito ay yung uh, negative. Oh, negative. Ah, dito pa rin. Ang nakukuha pa lang natin ay yung positive. Okay. Ngayon naman ay yung negative. Okay. Now, pinagkaiba lang nito ay dito. Naging negative 11 plus 7. So, it will become 4. Um, simplify. We will have 2 over 3. So, if you want to check whether this two equations are true, pwede naman po. So, ito po yung nakuha natin equation ng uh, uh, ito yung nakuha nating answer or roots ng equation na ito. Okay, now let's have uh, the, the last one using the quadratic formula. So, to solve quadratic equation, x squared minus 4x plus 8 equals 0. We're going to use the quadratic formula. But first, uh, para na, uh, meron kasing formula to na magsasub since may formula, magsasubstitute ka lang. So, kailangan natin kunin yung mga value ng nasa formula. So, ano ba yung nasa formula? The solutions of the quadratic equation ay x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. A equals, a must not be equal to 0 are obtained by. So, ito yung formula ng quadratic equation. Okay, quadratic formula. x is equals to negative b plus positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, this is the called quadratic formula. Ayan, paulit-ulit na. So, let us get the value or let us get the uh, variable na pwedeng palitan sa formula. So, B, A, and C. So, dito sa ating original equation, kunin natin yung value ng A, B, and C. Ayan, nakuha na natin. May invisible 1 dito, kaya ang value ng A ay 1. Value ng B ay negative 4. Huwag pong kalimutan yung sign. Value ng C ay positive 8. Okay? Now, let's have this. Let us get first the discriminant. Ito yung tinatawag na discriminant yung nasa loob ng radical sign. So, b squared minus 4ac is equals to b is negative 4. O oh, may squared po dito. Minus 4. And may 4 din dito. a is 1. c is 8. Yan. So, 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 8 is 32. And 32. So, 16 minus 32 is negative 16. So, since square root of b squared equals 4ac is equals to negative 16. So, negative 16 is not real number. So, the equation has no real solution. And Pag kinuha nyo agad yung discriminant niya at uh, nakuha nyo yung sagot ay negative, oh, wala agad solution yun. Hindi nyo na kailangan magpakahaba-haba pa. Ano? So, wala kasing sagot kapag any number na may negative sign. Any number 
uh, na may negative sign, kinuha mo yung square root niya, ang sagot ay imaginary number. Ay, baliktad yung aking imaginary number. Yan. So, in the quadratic equation, the quantity b squared minus 4ac is called discriminant. Ayan yung sinasabi ko. Discriminant yung tawag doon sa loob ng nasa radical sign. Okay, let us solve the equation x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals 0 by quadratic formula. So, here is the solution. The first, we're going to get the value of a, b, and c. So, a is 1. B is 6, positive 6. C is positive 3. So, we're going to substitute these values in the quadratic formula. So, here's the quadratic formula. So, B is 6. Okay. B is 6. Oh, what? Oh, B is negative. Oh, positive 6. Okay, 6 dapat ito. Okay, hold on. Positive 6 po ito dapat. 4. A is 1. C is 3. Times 2. Ta 2 times 1. Okay. So, we will have negative 6 positive negative square root of 6 squared is 36. 4 times 1 is 4 times 3 is 12. So, 36 minus 12 is equals to 24. So, kailangan natin, uh, if this uh, number na nasa loob na na radical sign ay factorable pa, which ang um, factor niya ay merong exact square root, katulad ng 4 and 6, yung 4, meron siyang exact square root, pwede pa natin i-factor to. So, kaya magiging neg negative 6, positive negative Lalabas natin yung square root ng 4, which is 2, square root of 6 over 2. So, now, we will have negative 3, positive, negative, square root of 6. Baka naging negative 3. Ayun, pwede po siya i-cancel. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, therefore, the solution set is negative 3 plus pos square root of 6, negative 3, negative square root of 6. So, thank you for listening. That's all for today.